Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys – How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Human class. Okay. Now let's say I'm going to say new class. Now here we are going to be basically talking about inheritance. And you will see uh, with the help of the inheritance how we can access the existing constructor also. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say here as uh, men. Okay. And let me make it as a final. All right. Okay. Now here, uh, I am saying here. If I want to create an instance of the men, I basically say men, men equals to new men, right? But this men does not have any of, if I say men dot height, no, height is not there, right? Men dot name, name is not there. So for that reason, again, I have to create all the things again, right? Now here, instead of doing this, if you see the hierarchy, a men or a woman, right? So if I say new uh, class, W O M E N woman finish okay I want to basically inherit the properties of a human here because I know that men as well as women both are a human beings right so for that reason what I'm going to do is I'm going to say men extends sorry men extends uh, human all right so I'm saying that a man, okay, men, okay, a man is basically extending a human, and uh, let's see now, men dot, okay, before that, as you know, if you, uh, let's say, this is your human, okay, now in this main class, if you have a main class here. And simply say uh, human uh, h equals to new human, and you say sys out, and this is your let's say h dot name. Okay, so I can basically say it in this way if I run this, run as a Java application. Okay, I get some uh, some values here. Okay, now let's let's do one thing. Let uh, let me even uh, okay, have a. Let me even remove this. Okay, so if you know that if I run this right now, I'll be basically getting this null value because I have, I'm not uh, initialized anything over here. Okay, and uh, okay, let me bring it back again. So now my main objective is I am going to create a class man which is basically extending human, right? Now let's see what's going to happen right now. So if if I say sys out men dot uh, let's say name now let me run this run as java application right now when i say men dot name where from this world this this value human is coming up in picture right the concern is that now as we are extending human right as we are extending human what is happening is uh automatically it goes to human now see you are trying to access a, cons a your you don't have any constructor in your men class you just have a default constructor right so this default constructor what is going to do is internally from your super class so this is your human class it is going to invoke the default constructor of the super class so when i say super class and subclass this is your subclass and this is your super class because your men is actually extending your human okay 
So here automatically this is getting invoked as a result the name height and the country why these properties are accessible to the subclasses because these classes are basically extending a human. I don't have to say again I can basically even copy this okay and I can uh, paste it here and I can uh, even do the same thing here also right. Now if I run this right now run as uh, Java application you basically get it as null. Why? Why we use this? Uh, why we use uh, this? Uh, are you talking about THIS this? Okay. Uh, all right. So let me just recap. There was a question, so probably it is going to be a recap for others also. Okay. Uh, this is actually referring to the to referring to this class instance here. Okay. Now, if I don't use this, basically I have to have a name as uh, uh, name value. Let's say this is a name value. And then I can say here as name value. Okay. But as I am using the same name as your property here because this is your local variable, right? So this is your instance variable. This is a local variable. Now, uh, here my main objective is to assign a value to the instance variable, right? So when your constructor is getting invoked here, I want to basically assign this value, the one which I'm passing at, if say I'm saying uh, human of Jeram height and uh, okay I'm not five I'm not even six between that okay and the country is let's say USA all right uh, so here I'm saying uh, when I say human of Jeram basically is this value uh, is being passed okay uh, to this constructor and this constructor basically assigns the value new value to your name all right now Okay, so now uh, if you see you're having a name value and you're having a name value here and you, this name base basically belongs to your name here and you can see the naming in the color convention also. This is blue and this is blue and this is uh, what color is this? Somewhat brown color, okay? And if I have the same name here, what happens is if I say name again here and name again here, there is a conflict. I mean, you are basically referring it to the local variable here itself. Now, in order to differentiate whether you are referring it to the local variable, this is a local variable or if I say int i, okay, this is a local variable for me, right? Now here in this case, I don't want to refer to the local variable, I want to refer it to the instance variable, okay? So this is your this object's instance variable, okay? So in order to just have a uh, conflict between these two, uh, I basically use a this here. And even I would uh, request you to go with my uh, yesterday's video. We have spoken about uh, this in other other terms also, how to invoke the constructors and stuff and all. Okay, so I would request you to please go through uh, the go through yesterday's videos as well. Okay. Jiram, uh, uh, Jiram, uh, by, by the instance where you know you mean the string name that defined in the human side. Is that what it is referring to? Yes, the name over here is being referred to over here. This dot name. Okay. So when you try to create a class, in that class you have got some instance variables. You are saying uh, assign the value. Okay. To this, I mean this in the sense this class, this class as a whole. Okay. This class name here. This class height. This class country. Okay. All right. Uh, what I was, what I was into. Okay, I was talking about the men over here. Men is basically extending a human. Now, uh, if I define the name, height, and country again, which I have defined it in human, right? So if I execute this program right now, run as Java application, right? So you basically get it as null because that is the desired functionality. If you have a name and you do not assign any value you will get the uh, the default value okay so, and the default value for any of the object is null okay now for example if i say uh, men m okay 
and if I simply say sys out and m, right? Okay, so by the way, you cannot access this. If you suppose I access it somewhere outside and make this a static. And then if I say M here, right click, run as Java application. Okay, I get it as null and null. All right. So if you do not assign any value to it, you basically get a, a null value. Now, if I say, if I simply type in men, what happens here? If I simply can be extend two or more classes at one time, uh, no, Saroja, we do not have access to extend more uh, more than one classes at one time. Okay, the way you have it in uh, uh, C++, we do not have that option over here. Okay, uh, for that reason, we'll be having other options. Uh, we'll see that uh, when we talk about interfaces. Okay. Uh, all right. So, right, let's see uh, the moment you create men and you just type in here uh, men. So let's see what is output you're going to get. Run as Java application. Okay. Now, if you can see, you are basically getting the the complete class name, right? I mean, uh, yeah, the complete uh, class name here, right? Uh, followed by some digit here. Okay. This is basically the hexadecimal representation, okay, of your object in the memory. Okay. So this is the memory, uh, basically the hexadecimal representation of your object where it is present. Okay. All right, let's not get into it right now. Uh, so main objective, I say men dot country, right? So even though I say men dot country or height dot uh, dot height or name, I say I'll be getting as null, zero and null again, run as Java application. Now the point is, if you are extending already, you are, you are a class men and you are extending human, that means when you try to extend somebody, you are by default going to get those properties in your uh, in your class. Okay. It's something like, uh, if your parent has got a house and, uh, you basically inherit that particular house, right? If you are, if you are, uh, your big brother or your, sorry, your elder brother has got a bike and down the line, he's not going to use that bike. You're going to use that bike. Okay. So here, if I remove this, okay, because it is not required, uh, the reason already my, uh, men has extended human. Okay. And uh, here as um, your class human is your uh, super class, okay? And it has got all these properties, your men doesn't have to do again, uh, redefine the same variables again, okay? Those variables will be accessed to the subclasses automatically, okay? So this is all about your, ex when you try to extend, you get the properties of your super class. Now, uh, as I was talking here, if I, if you remove this, what happens? Right click. Uh, okay. Let me just put on everything here. So plus, uh, men dot, uh, height plus men dot name. Okay. So right click, uh, run as Java application. So I'm getting, uh, India 10 and human here. Okay. I'm good here. No issues at all. Uh, I'm happy. All right. Uh, okay. <clears throat> now, why then what is, uh, if you have some instance variables here, now what is that? I want to declare it here the way I have created instance variables as name, height and country. Okay. Now let's, let's talk about, uh, uh, some features which only men has. Okay. And okay. Let me even do it in this way. And uh, let me even extend your, uh, women to extends, uh, human. Okay. All right. So as a matter of fact, let me remove all these things here for now. Okay. Let me just keep it here. All right. Now, Why should I, okay, what should I add some extra features here, which is not for a, uh, which is not for a man, okay, F not for a woman, okay. So let's say uh, men, uh, okay, let's say I'm going to have a Boolean data type and uh, 
extra cosmetics okay uh, okay no not in this way so let me have it as uh, what is what can anyone uh, suggest me anything which uh, men has an uh, uh okay let's say men they they ride bike okay and your uh, uh, women don't ride bike let's let's take it as an example okay you don't want <laughs> all right okay let's take an example here uh, i'm getting a couple of comments here uh, okay i understand i'm sorry for that to take this example but still uh, i'm taking this example okay so let's say uh, uh, being a human uh women's uh, maybe long hair okay <laughs> All right, that's a good thing. Okay. Uh, all right. So when I talk about long hair, what I have to do is instead of uh, doing something in the men, I will do something in the women itself. Okay. Now a woman by if it is extending a human, <laughs> I'm getting some comments saying that women talk talk more. Okay. <laughs> all right. So there is going to be a fight uh, against all the women and Ajit. Okay. Why? <laughs> All right. Okay. So when I talk about long hair here, uh, let's say I'm going to say uh, okay. So int hair long hair length. So when I say long uh, n g t h n g t h. Okay. So when I say long hair, that means it is something uh, uh, more than uh, more than one feet. Okay. So which basically uh, men don't keep it. So in general, let's say that men will never keep uh, long hair more than one feet. Okay. Now here. <laughs> okay. All right. Sanjita has long hair, but not than not more than one feet. All right. So here uh, I will I will never have these kind of features somewhere uh, for your men. Okay. I will never have this feature for a man because I know that whenever I create a instance for a man, I will never initialize the value of uh, the long hair with some values. Okay, it will always have a short hair. So there is no point in having a long hair here, right? And I will basically uh, say here, let's say men uh, int. Uh, okay, uh, okay, let's say. I'm running out of ideas, man. Okay, fine. Let's talk about women right now. So here in this case, if I say women uh, w o m e n equals to new of women, right? Now here, what I want is basically, if I variable says sys out and say women uh, dot Let's say country, and I know that there is a default uh, value as so and so. Let's say this this woman is from X Y Z country, right? Now how? Let's say this the object which I'm creating right now is a woman. She is from Australia. Now, if I say right click run as Java application, I know that it is always coming as India. So what should I do here basically? Right? I can do one thing here. I can have the default. I can have a constructor which will initialize the value of country to Australia. So what should I do here? I will create a constructor, okay. And instead of having a default constructor, okay. Even let me, uh, okay. If I, in the default constructor also, I can say uh, I cannot say this dot. Okay, let, let me do the other way out. It means just say country equals to Australia, okay. But this is not a good practice of doing it because each and every time we want to create and uh, create a woman, it might be from different countries. For that reason, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a constructor with an argument string. Let's say uh, country, okay. Now here I'm going to say country. Uh, this dot country equals to country. All right, and here I'm going to say Australia. Now, let me just run this example now. 
uh, what is the benefit of using the same variable name when doing this? Uh, what is the benefit of using the same variable name when doing this? If you don't use this, it is going to refer uh, to the local variable. Okay, so you are saying to have it in this way, country equals to country. Uh, Keith, I mean, uh, if you mind uh, unmuting yourself and asking this question, we can have a conversation. Why string country? Yeah, you can have different names here. Okay, so this dot, so I can even have a different name also. I can just say uh, value, right? Yes, I can have country one also. Okay, the concern is I can even have a C O U N T R Y one underscore one also, right? That, that doesn't uh, matter me much also. Okay, but the concern is as a naming convention. I'm talking about a naming convention here. All right. So as a naming convention, you will never say it as country one. All right, because you are basically dealing with a country. All right. Now what happens here? Uh, if I say something like, if I, okay, when you say country, I can even give something like value, right? Even I say, I can say value also. Now what happens is, uh, uh, okay, you don't have that. New, all right? Now, what happens is when you say, uh, okay, just see this closely, you have given, a uh, the name of the string as value okay when i say woman w o equals to new of w o m right i i get an auto suggestion saying that value put a value here right now when i see this i have to go back to the uh, constructor and see what is this value okay this is country okay i have to add a country here yeah i have to add a country here as india Right, right. Now, unless until I, I know that okay, it is a country, I will even I can even add I add my name also, right? It doesn't matter. But when you see upfront that okay, when you do a suggestion here, and if this is a country, okay, and I put it as country here, and this dot country, and the moment I say new of something now, I get a suggestion that okay, put a country here, okay, and here. I'm talking mainly about the naming convention. There is no harm in saying country one or X or Y or Z. Okay. This is kind of just a naming convention. If you just follow the naming convention to make it more specific that what you're trying to pass here. Okay. Now this is just in your class. Usually what happens is this class will not be visible to you anytime. All right. So the way if you see in the previous example, what we saw, uh, bike climb, right? So here the bike is not visible to you at all. Right. So if you write the uh, main method somewhere here, it is okay. But usually what happens in the real time, your uh, actual class will not be visible. You will only try to create an instance of all these classes. Okay. In your client, client programs. Okay. All right. So where I was. All right. So let me remove this, remove this. Uh, now. Let's go back to the human here and human does not have a constructor. Okay. Let me define a one argument constructor in human. Okay. So human and uh, let's say public human and let's say string country. So I'll just say this dot country equals to country. Now what I did in this uh, program, I uh, I got a, a one argument constructor. We'll just take uh, five more minutes, folks, and then we'll. Can you check all? Yeah, I will check in all the files. Okay, no worries. All right, and this is your one, one argument. This is uh, having uh, three arguments, and uh, this is with no argument. Okay, and if you just write, uh, say front slash two hash or uh, two stars and enter it will give you all this all these things automatically 
okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say uh, something like uh, when you say uh, when you use a, a in argument constructor right and say australia a u s t r a l i a okay a u s t r a l i a okay so i know that the, the moment i run this run as uh, java application i get it as australia here and uh, uh, if i say something like india so this is your woman too right so um okay so right click run as and this is your uh, woman too right click run as job application all right so what happens the moment i invoke this this constructor is going to invoke your woman constructor with a one argument and then this country is being assigned to this object now see woman and human it all belongs to the same object basically i mean it, as your woman is extending your human right so ultimately you create a woman object and all the properties are human uh, belongs to your uh, woman here okay so you don't have to explicitly specify all these properties here and as if you click on this it directly goes to your human itself okay so your if you use eclipse and it is smart enough to understand okay to what you're trying to access it here okay now uh if i want to have something like uh, let's say copy this and uh, i can even have a constructor here also right i can say woman right so that means the same constructor which i want to create a woman with a name height and the country right so i want to say here uh uh reshma height is let's say 5 and india okay now i know that if i say if i uh, access the values of the country i say plus um uh, woman to dot what is this name plus woman to dot height right so i know that if i run this run as java application you basically get the value india arrangement file why because this value are been assigned to the variables accordingly now question is uh uh when already a human has all these things why should i copy paste the same thing here again right instead of doing this what i can do is if you remember in the previous class in the byte in order to access the existing constructor now this is a one argument constructor i have used this correct now uh i can very well say if something like this t h and okay now already i have something like uh, this dot name some okay this dot country here right so instead of having this dot country in your second or constructor right somewhere let's say i can even interchange here instead of this i will just say this of country okay that's what we saw in the previous class correct now why even i need to have this here because i know that i'm i want to set the values to the respective variables in the super class right so instead of even having this let me even comment this out i will simply say super of uh okay so what do you have here woman human so this is your name height and country so i'll just say as yes. name height and country okay makes sense so we are going to stop the session here you let me just run this run as java application 
okay you get the same output here as well all right so here the only thing is you're using a, a, a keyword here as super in order to access the super class constructor okay so i'm going to check in this file yeah, quick question mm -hmm. yeah the constructors from the uh, the main class that uh, the human class mm -hmm. cannot be inherited over here. Cannot be inherited because um, you are creating this constructor here with the same signature. Uh, from the human class, no, I am not using the same signature here. I am having the signature is different because the name is different here. So when you talk about signature, everything oh, should I be see, same. I see. I see. Okay. All right, uh, so I'm going to check in this file. I would request everyone to practice these examples and come up with some different ideas and uh, some different ideas apart from these concepts now, the one I have discussed about women and a human. Come up with your own ideas and uh, come up with some questions as well. Okay, thank you, folks. So if no questions, uh, we'll just wind up. Hi, Gavin. Um, will you be sending us all these packages? So we can like the copy it and accept and practice it. Or? Uh, packages. I didn't get you. I uh, yeah, the classes that you created during this class. Uh huh. All these, all these classes that you created. Can you just like a uh, package them and send it to us like every week? Uh, week? no. Actually, if you uh, follow my previous classes. Uh, I'm basically using a GIT hub in order to check in this file. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh, check in all these files, right click uh, team commit. So it is going to be a central repository somewhere. Uh, I'm going to give you the, that path also right now. So you basically need to check out those files, okay? So committing. So push. Okay. So basically, I have committed the files to this particular repository. So I would request you to just check out this one. All right, so just use this repository to check out the project from now. How do you do that? Please uh, go ahead and uh, see the previous videos. All right, so you'll get the idea of what to do on this. All right. Um, Jaram, mm -hmm. um, I think this is the same question someone had asked before, mm -hmm. but I needed some more clarification. Mm -hmm. So here, um, woman two, mm -hmm. uh, you pass in three parameters, right? Yeah. So as for extending the main super class mm -hmm. uh, human, mm -hmm. why are we um, specifically calling a uh, constructor here? Uh, if we are calling about talking about this super. Uh, no, 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 no. What I'm saying, like, like we have created the object woman two, right? Uh -huh. And we are passing three parameters: Reshma, five, India. Correct. And in your human super class, you have a constructor which has, which is taking the same. Right. Um, right. Yeah. So, so let's so let's. Instead of ex mm -hmm. So instead of explicit, explicitly creating a constructor here, mm -hmm. um, don't it like call it like um. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a good question actually. Here, the objective is if you do not create, if if you just try to access a constructor which has not been created, so it will give you a mm -hmm. compilation issue. Okay, if I just comment this out, okay, mm -hmm. it will say you that this constructor is no, uh, never created also. So it says constructor woman, if you see this, mm -hmm. string integer and uh, string is undefined. So you have to okay. create a constructor accordingly. Uh, the reason why I'm asking this question is like I remember that you were showing like it was printing humans from the super class before. Yes, but yes. You didn't have a, right. You, so you didn't have. Mm -hmm. Understand? Okay. Let me answer that. That I was talking about a default constructor. Okay. So when you talk about a okay. default constructor, automatically that is going to invoke the default constructor of your human class. Okay. But okay. if you if you have a parameterized constructor, you have to explicitly invoke that. Okay. Got it. Thank okay? you. All right. Yeah, folks, uh, thank you. Uh, thanks for joining. We'll meet up uh, by the same time, uh, 8, 8 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Jayram, very quick question. Yeah. I, I missed uh, yesterday's class because of some miscommunication uh -huh. by the, the technical guys. Uh, I didn't get the link for the new, you know, just for this session. Okay. Um, um, can you send me the uh, link to the yesterday's class? Uh, I will. I will talk to the admin guys to send you that. Okay as soon as possible, I'll CC to you also. Can you just put me an email as such? Uh, um, yeah, I did already. Um, let me 
yeah just shoot out me, uh, shoot out an email to me i'm just going to send an email back to them okay okay great all right thanks thank you folks meet you tomorrow dishu tu kai nes khaya jata ne ki bolo painting kar rahe hai HTK Infosys provides world class online IT training staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide H2K Infosys how we are different from our competitors 100% job oriented training hands on project work cloud test lab resume preparation and review mock interviews robust syllabus one time fee and lifetime access to classes access to recorded sessions of live classes H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.